Hello! In this video, I'm going to show you how to submit an online assignment, locate a model answer, view a Turnitin report, resubmit an assignment, and how to access your grade and feedback. So, let's get started. After signing into Infundi, you will navigate to your module site. Then, select the assignments tool from the menu. Here you will see a list of all the different assignments that you either have to still submit or have already submitted. Take note of the different columns. The assignment title shows the name of the assignment. The status tells you whether or not you have submitted the assignment. The open date is the date and time when you can access and start to submit the assignment and the due date indicates the date and time when the assignment closes. That means, in this example, on 21 January 2021, at 10.25 in the morning, the assignment will close. At 10.26, you will no longer be able to submit the assignment. I highly recommend that you always try to submit an hour or two before the due date. That way, if you experience any issues, you have time to reach out to your lecturer or to the Ifundi help desk. Now, to access the assignment, you will click on the assignment title. First, you will see the admin information for the assignment. When it is due, how many times you can submit and what it will count out of. Some lecturers will give you instructions in the instructions section or they will provide instructions or templates attached to the assignment. This assignment has an instruction document that you can download by simply clicking on the name of the document. Choose where you would like to save it to and then open the document. This document provides instructions for what the front page of the assignment should look like. Let's quickly follow the instructions in red. Once you are done, you will go to File, then select the Save As option and choose where you want to save the assignment document. When naming your document, I recommend that you include your student number for your lecturer and then you can also include the assignment name or module code to ensure that you don't get confused between the many different assignments you would have to submit during the semester. When you are ready to submit, you will go back to your assignment. Below the submission heading, take note of the guideline information stating what types of files you may submit. Click the Choose File button, then browse to where you saved your assignment. Select your assignment and click Open. You will know that it was successfully uploaded when you can see the name of the assignment appearing in blue and it has a remove link. Make sure that you uploaded the correct document. If you realize it is the wrong one, you can remove the one there and then repeat the steps to upload the correct one. Once you are happy that you have uploaded your correct assignment, click the submit button. You should then see a submission confirmation. This is very important. If your internet dropped or something went wrong with the submission, you would need this submission confirmation in order for the help desk to assist you. This same information is also sent to your email. That is why it is so important that Ifundi has the correct email on record for you. To learn more about that, please refer to the Ifundi profile video. Here is an example of what a confirmation submission email looks like. Please make sure that you did receive the email and that you don't delete or junk the email by accident. 
Next, we will look at locating a model answer and looking at a Turnitin report. Some lecturers might release an example of what the correct assignment would look like, almost like a memo. To find a model answer, you will sign into Effundi and navigate to your module site. Then select the Assignments tool and click on the assignment title of the relevant assignment. In the Admin section, you will now see the Turnitin report item listed. In this case, there is a blue hourglass to indicate that Turnitin is still generating your report or it is pending review. When you scroll down a little, you will see a blue bar with Model Answer. Click on the blue bar to reveal the context from your lecturer and any attachments that you can download. Next, we will look at Turnitin. For those of you new to Turnitin, it is a service that takes your assignments and compares it to other work on the internet and in their database to provide a similarity index. Lecturers use this to help you improve your writing skills or to help them easily identify plagiarism. To access a Turnitin report, you will navigate to the relevant assignment. Next to the Turnitin report section, you will see a colored flag. The different flags indicate the percentage of similarity your document had with other work. To access the report, click on the flag. The first time you access Turnitin, you would have to agree to the end user license agreement and you will get a short tour of the interface. Here is the match overview to see what similarities there are. It is important to remember this is not necessarily plagiarism. A name of a book, for example, cannot be changed. Or you might have quoted and cited someone else's work correctly. It is, however, recommended that you go through all of the matches to ensure that you did not forget to cite a source and to identify where you can improve on your writing. If a lecturer is using Turnitin to help you improve on your writing, you will have more than one opportunity to submit your work. So, let's say you found some ways to improve on your assignment. You have made your changes and now you want to submit a final version. You will sign into Effundi, navigate to your module site and then again access your assignment. When you scroll down, you will have the option to remove the document previously submitted and then you can select the Choose File option and upload your newly updated assignment. Click the Resubmit button once it was successfully uploaded. You will see a new submission confirmation screen with a new submission ID that will be sent to your email address. Finally, I will show you how to view your grade and get your feedback from your lecturer. As always, you will navigate to the relevant assignment. In the admin section next to the grade item, you will see the grade that you were awarded. In this case, Becca got a grade of 95 out of 100. When scrolling down, a new section has appeared called the instructor's attachments to this submission. There you can get a short message from your lecturer and in this case there is a feedback document as well as a rubric that she can download. The feedback document is a word file and when we download and open that, you can find comment bubbles. Click on the comments to see what the lecturer said about the assignment. Rubrics can also take many different forms and can be a Word document similar to this one. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any other questions regarding the assignments tool, please check out the CTL student support page for more information.